Good morning. Welcome to Life of Five. No more coffee for the day. Go juice can be water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we're con- wrapping up another week of Life for Five with a good text, a uh, good memory, uh, something to remind yourself of going into the weekend. Um, we have small groups launching. Our first small group is full, so they are going to start right away. Um, and and we have more small groups that are that are available. So there's also the downtown small group and the Durango West small group. Um, so yeah, it, we're going to have a great opportunity here to connect with, uh, members of our family of faith, uh, a wrap around food, wrap around God's word in conversation, maybe some accountability in there as well. Um, all of that knitting together for the benefit of our community. So, um, good morning, June. Uh, Let's make our beginning this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. Our verse of the day takes us to Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. So the the sense of this saying is is pretty clear, that both wisdom and stupidity are learned from the company of the people that we keep. He who walks with the wise becomes wise. Walks is this sense of associating with people. So he who walks with the wise, well, um, a lot of conversation would happen while walking. So, uh, from town to town or something like that. I, you know, I just spoke with uh, one of our members who has been to Israel before and is now going back to Israel for nine months. And she said that you don't really get the sense of how far people have to walk, uh, had to walk in the Bible until you're there and you see the rugged terrain and it's kind of a uh, a jungle. So like to walk with someone isn't just to go from uh North Main to South Main in Durango or something like that. It's it's to go uh miles upon miles walking with someone. So you're going through aspects of life together. And so this is more than just well I I happen to go for my morning walk with people. Well it might be that, but it might be more than that. Uh, wise friends make you wise, but you hurt yourself by going around with fools. So this this verse is a proverb about being influenced by the company that you keep, whether consciously or subconsciously. And then the second line is akin to saying, if you lie down with a dog, you'll get up with fleas, right? And Paul says something similar to this in uh, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals, and he's quoting uh, Menander, a poet by Menander. Uh, You might have heard it said, bad company corrupts good character. Um, And it all kind of is to the same point. I, outside of, of maybe work or family, the company that you keep is probably largely up to your choice. Uh, so whether they're wise or they're foolish, there's always influences. Companions should therefore be chosen very carefully. Companionship as in friendship as well. The people you spend your time with. Now there's a difficulty here though. Because we're called out to a world that is foolish, that is unwise. Because God has not revealed these things to the learned, but to the meek. So how do we resolve that? Well, there's a difference between intentionally going out to minister and share to people and then the other side, which is when you relax, when you let down, when you are wanting to enjoy friendship and company and and you're not necessarily 
100% engaged or aware. You're just kind of relaxing. Those are maybe more the moments we're talking about, the, the more mundane activities, the, the quietness. So in those moments, who, who are you around and what influence can you have? Uh, there, there's this there's this ebb and flow to this because other people that maybe don't have the why wisdom yet maybe need to be around you to learn from you. So how how can this be an absolute statement then? Well, probably not. But it's not something to go about uh, cautious w without caution. To be intentional about the people that are around you. Uh, and and this is the goal of of then the church that we are a reprieve from a world of foolishness, and that we uh, seek the wisdom of God that then just kind of transfers around to all of us. And it there's there's something beautiful about that activity then that we we seek maybe companionship here. Yeah. Let us pray, dear heavenly Father. You've given us the wisdom of your word. Help us to cling to it and help us to surround ourselves with those who are spending time in your word that are seeking your counsel. Lord, I pray that our small group ministry that is starting this next week would very much be companionship of your wise because they are seeking your wisdom. These and all the other things you know that we need, Lord, we lift those up to you as well. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, have a wonderful day in the Lord. Again, we have two small groups that are not full yet. One of them already is full, the North Animus Valley. The rest of them, uh, both downtown and uh, Durango West, still have openings and an opportunity for us to live out. Proverbs 13, 20. Have a blessed day in Christ. See you soon.